Welcome back. The Nigeria Society of Engineers has called on President Muhammad Buhari to consider unbundling the Ministry of Power, Works and Housing in order to create room for efficiency. At the 2017 Annual Conference of Engineers in Abuja, the national president of the body observes that there is an urgent need to appoint more ministers with the requisite knowledge to drive the economy. Let's take a look at some sports news for the day. Here's Nyota Higbe. Welcome to Sports News. Uche Eze and Georgia Obo have emerged winners of the 56th First Bank of Lagos Amateur Open Golf Championship. 200 golfers took part in the event, which took place at a Koi club, with the organizers pledging continuous support for the tournament. After two days of exciting and competitive golf, these golfers are in a relaxed mood as they await the official prize and award presentation. This is the 56th edition of the First Bank Lagos Amateur Open Golf Championship and the company is determined to keep supporting the development of the sport. First Bank does a lot of sponsorship for sports generally. Um, golf is just one of them. We do basketball, we do tennis, we do polo, we do football. So it's important for us to give back a little to the Nigerian economy, to give you a little bit back to Nigerian people, to give a little bit back to Nigerian customers. Let's find out some players who are outstanding on the golf course. <laughs> Teenage sensation Georgia Obo ruled the ladies category. It was a great experience. I played well. I enjoyed the event as a whole and I'm just happy to be here. Our drive is to encourage more women. So with uh, First Bank uh, come, uh, being a sponsor, another thing that will bring out more participation is when they give quality prizes. Uche is a won the 2014 edition, and this year is shot 144 plus 4, over 36 holes to emerge champion. Fifty-six years they have been sponsored this tournament. They make young boys to come up because of this tournament. Because they just make it one from one handicap to fourteen handicap, which is very very good. So a young golfers have the talent if you can play a win the golf open is one of the major tournament. For fifty-six years, First Bank has been sponsoring different sporting events across the country, and they believe it helps in strengthening the mind and body. Manchester City has continued their 100% record in the UEFA Champions League with a 1-0 win over Feyenoord in one of tonight's games. That's five wins in five games for City who have already secured a spot in the knockout phase. Now, Liverpool squandered a 3-0 lead and could have secured a spot in the knockout phase tonight but were held to a 3-0 draw by Sevilla. Reigning champions Real Madrid have advanced to the knockout phase following a comprehensive thrashing of a pearl 6-0. EPL side Tottenham Hotspurs has also qualified for the next stage with 13 points from five games following a 2-1 win over Dortmund earlier. Spartak Moscow and Maribor played out a one-all draw. Besiktas and FC Porto also played out a one-all draw. Manchester United striker Romelu Lukaku would avoid the prospect of jail by paying compensation to the Los Angeles police over repeated call-outs to noise parties in the summer. Police said they arrested a 24-year-old after responding to five noise complaints in as many days as a Beverly Hills resident where he was staying. The parties were held while Lukaku was on the verge of a transfer to Manchester United from Everton. He will pay 450 US dollars. That's it on Sports News. Joe will be back with the rest of the news at 10. Thanks a lot to Nyota. Lebanon's Prime Minister Saad Hariri has returned to his home country on the eve of its Independence Day and after nearly a three-week absence dominated by his surprise resignation. Mr. Hariri stepped down from his post in a televised address on November the 4th from Saudi Arabia and then remained in Riyadh where he spent two weeks before making brief trips to Abu Dhabi, Paris and Cairo. He's expected to take part in the Independence Day military parade early Wednesday and the customary reception at the presidential palace. And the main news again. 
Zimbabweans today celebrated Robert Mugabe's resignation as the country's president after several days of defiance in the face-off with the military. And that's the news at 10 tonight. Thanks a lot for staying with us. I'm Ijo Mahkeniato. Good night.